All right, well, I'm looking at another Periodal today. Uh, if you're not familiar with Periodal, this is like Wordle, but all of your answers have to be made up of abbreviations from the periodic table. So it could be from anywhere to five to 10 letters because you can do two letters at a time or one letter at a time. So um, I like to re I like to try and use single letters uh, initially. That seems to get you the most information. Um, it's so close here. Look, you see B, C, N, O. It makes me want to do bacon. But there's no A, but we could do, um, can we do barium and then, uh, oh, well, that's another way to do it. Do we want to do, I think I'd rather do barium and then carbon, uh, is it going to let me do it? No, oh, come on. Carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur. There we go. Bacons, like that. Okay. Well, so... Ah, uh, now that's C, interesting. Okay, so the C is yellow, which means there is a carbon in the answer. Not just a C, but a carbon. So there could be another C, like with calcium or chlorine or something, right? C-A-C-L, but there's definitely a carbon in the answer. Because if there was only a C in like chlorine or calcium or something, it would have made it orange. Now that's not to say that there's not another C somewhere, but there is a carbon in the answer. There's no O, there's no N, there's no S, and it has grayed out all of the elements that have that letter as part of their symbol. So, now the barium does not mean there's not a B, it just means there's no barium, which is why guessing uh, single letter elements is good initially. Let's see, could we do something something um, I-C-K would be good. Uh, ooh, we can almost do flick, but there's no L by itself. We've got the F, but we can't do thick because there's no T by itself, right? I don't think so. We've got B, P, F, H, V, Y, W, and U. I think those are the single letter elements left. And the ICK, obviously. But something like that would be good. Or I C we could do ICH as well, actually. That might be better than K. Just because there's more elements with an H, so if it's gray, then it'll eliminate more possibilities. Well, I mean, it's not great, but we could do which. Don't really want to reuse the H though. I mean, we could do which. It's not. It's not great with the double H, but um, I think it's. I think it's not terrible. Let's go for it. Okay. Of course, there's no H. Now the I is interesting. This is the orange. Um, by the way, I have high contrast mode on, so this may or may not be orange, but it's the equivalent of orange in this puzzle. Uh, I am colorblind, so that's why I have the, the colorblind mode on. Um, so, the orange means, so we still have the, the yellow C, which means the carbon is still somewhere else, but the orange I means there is not iodine in the puzzle, but there is an I as part of another element. It could be like IR or LI. Uh, what else could it be? TI? Yeah, those are all good. I think there's not too many options, actually. Um, because we've eliminated some, like, uh, I-N and S-I. So... Let's see, where do we want to... We could put the C at the beginning. Um, what would be after the C? We could do C... Was there R-I? Is that a thing? No. Well, we could do C... L-I, that would be pretty good. Cl what would we do, climber or something? Is there, no, there's no M-B. <laughs> I mean, we could do, we could do something like click, click what? E, clicked, clicker, clicker. We could do clicker. Now, one good thing about this is, um, of course it's a possible answer, right? Obviously. But it checks two more spots for the C, so we're definitely going to locate the carbon at this point. And it, it's another uh, possible I. Uh, we don't have too many things with I's left. Um, yeah, let's go for that. Okay, so 
So, there is a lithium. Um, and the carbon is at the end, which is interesting. So, uh, I mean, could it end with... L-I-C? I mean, that's possible. It does end in a C, though, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I kind of like, I mean, something like A-R-C at the end isn't too bad. Something arc. You could do L-I at the beginning. Hmm. What would be good? So, it's probably, at this point, we're, we're running out of, um, single letter options. We've got F and B and P and Y and V, but a lot of those aren't, I mean, B and V are not good. F and P are kind of middle of the road letters as far as how common they are. So, there's a decent chance it's gonna be an 11 letter word. What could we do? We could do... I mean, there's lots of things we could do, right? But one of them has to be the lithium. Okay, so now I'm thinking maybe L-I-C at the end. We know the C is at the end. L-I-C isn't too bad. What would be words? We've still got B, P, and F, B, and U. Uh, public, P, U, B, uh, public? We could do public. Public works, actually. Yeah, 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 public's really good. Let's do, let's do public. Oh, it was public, okay. Wow. All right, well. Got it in four. Uh, there was a lot of thinking time on that fourth guess. Uh, it, I, I'm sure I cut it all out <laughs> in editing, but, oh man, there was a lot of thinking time on that last bit just to come up with something that would work. Once I, once I decided, I, I was trying to put the L-I at the beginning was the main problem. Once I decided to do L-I-C at the end, then it just sort of fell together for me, but. Interesting that I used a bunch of uh, single letter abbreviations, which I typically do, but I didn't use, there was four of them in the answer and I just happened to use the wrong ones. So, very interesting. All right, well, let me know how you did. If you did this period all, um, did you figure out public as quickly or uh, as, as the number of guesses or time-wise, because there was quite a bit of time in this. Um, do you like to use individual letters? What's your favorite starting thing? And just, yeah, how'd this one go for you? And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Got a rotten string of bad luck ahead of me now. That is, if you believe in any of these various superstitions. Oh, okay, well that was really good. On the left, awesome. Ballet over here, okay, it is L and T, just like I was thinking now. Alf alphabet, alphabet, there we go, that's a good one.